Let's cook around the world. Together, we'll travel the world one recipe at a time. Did you know that tiramisu literally translates to pick me up in English? Neither did I until I started to research this amazing dessert. Here's another interesting fact. Did you know tiramisu was invented in a house of ill repute by a madame who, let's say, wanted her clients to enjoy themselves a little longer? The recipe soon spread not just in Italy but all around the world. So much so, the tiramisu now can be found on almost every menu in almost every restaurant all around the world. So let me show you how to make this delicious recipe step by step. And as always, a full list of all the ingredients and quantities are available at the end of this video and in the description box below. To start, we're going to separate the egg whites from the yolks. I'm using my fingers for this because for me it's the quickest and easiest method. But if you prefer, you can use an egg separator or the shell itself. Just make sure there's no yolk in the whites as even a small amount can prevent them from whipping properly. The eggs need to be at room temperature as the whites will whip up faster and hold their shape much better. So if you refrigerate yours, take them out an hour or so beforehand depending on the external temperature. Set aside the yolks for now as we start to whip up the egg whites. To whisk the egg whites, I'm using a stand mixer, but an electric hand whisk works just as well. We'll start on a low speed and gradually increase to a medium high. It's important to have a clean and dry bowl, as any moisture or grease in your bowl can prevent the stiff peaks from forming. Next, we're going to add half the sugar and we're going to continue whisking until the mixture becomes glossy and forms stiff peaks. Your egg whites are ready when they reach this consistency. You can test them by turning the bowl upside down. If they remain in place, then they're ready. If not, then continue whisking for a while longer. We're going to put them to one side for just a minute while we whisk the yolks. In the same bowl, add your egg yolks and start to whisk. Again, we're going to start on a low speed, increasing to a medium high. Add the rest of the sugar. Keep beating until the yolks are fully beaten and have a thick, creamy texture. This should take around 5 minutes depending on the type of device you're using. Add the mascarpone and gently fold into the mixture to soften up the cream cheese. Then on a medium high speed, whisk until everything is smooth and creamy. Now it's time to add the egg whites. To start, we're only going to use a spoonful to soften up the mixture. Using a spatula or a spoon, gently fold the whisked egg whites into the cream cheese mixture. And then we're going to add in the rest all at once. Remember to fold it in gently, as we want the final mixture to be light and fluffy. Be careful not to whisk too hard or to overmix, as this can cause the egg whites to lose their fluffy texture. Keep folding until the egg whites are fully incorporated and the mixture is smooth and uniform. And now for the assembly. To start, we're going to add a couple of spoonful of the mixture to the bottom of the dish and spread it out evenly. Dip your Savoyardi lady fingers into the coffee. I use Nespresso pods to make my espresso, but if you have an espresso machine then great, otherwise just buy some from your local cafe. My espresso is without alcohol, but if you want to add a little something extra with yours, then feel free to add some rum or masala. Dip the lady fingers into the coffee, but only for a second or two, as we don't want them to get too soggy or the tiramisu to become too runny. Now arrange them until the entire bottom of the dish is covered without any gaps. Next, we're going to add the cream cheese mixture and smooth it out so all the surface is covered. Sprinkle over some cocoa powder and grate over some dark chocolate. We're now going to arrange the next layer of ladyfingers. And as you can see, I'm adding them at a 90 degree angle to the bottom layer, as this will help the tiramisu hold its shape much better when sliced. Add the rest of the mixture to the top and smooth it out to cover the entire surface. Sprinkle with some cocoa powder. 
and shave over some more of the dark chocolate. We're now going to cover with cling film and put in the refrigerator for at least three hours. But if you have the time, it's best that tiramisu is prepared the day before and left overnight in the fridge to set. And when it looks like this, your tiramisu is done. And here it is, the final result. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. So let me just dive in. Look at that. Mmm. Delicious. Creamy. You get the taste of the coffee, not too strong, but you get the taste of the coffee coming through. And it's just slightly sweet, which is perfect. Try this for yourself. See you in the next video. And as my friends say in Italy, buon appetito. Mmm, delicious.